At the Aesthetic Beauty Center, we do various types of treatment. Of course, we do the non-surgical, the laser treatments, and of course, the surgical or the cosmetic surgery treatments. We also do uh, some of the uh, balloon insertions for reducing weight and uh, hair transplant. Today we are mainly concentrating on the surgical side, which is the cosmetic surgical treatments that we do, and of course we'll visit the theatre at some stage. In cosmetic surgery, we do liposuctions, uh, which are divided into various categories like vasoliposuction, body tight, uh, laser or smart lipo. Then we also do some body contouring. We do the high def for vasor. And then coming up from there, we do facial surgery, the facelift, the neck lift, the blepharoplasty, the endoscopic brow lifts, and sometimes hair transplant. In the general body uh, group, we do breast treatments like breast augmentation, breast lift, sometimes breast reduction, and thigh lift and arm lift, along with abnormalplasty. These treatments are done under CQC registration, for which we have full registration at the Acid Beauty Centre. Our theatre theatres are accredited, and we also have FIN, which is the new group which has been formed by the British government to see what sort of treatments the independent sector is doing in the private sector, and they monitor us. They tell us what to do, what not to do, what is good practice. For the breast registry, all our breast implants go through the breast registry so the patients can feel safe that each and everybody is registered with the breast registry so that if anything goes wrong, unlike the PIP scandal about uh, eight or nine years ago that happened, um, we can now trace all our patients and if necessary, bring them back and do whatever is necessary. At the Aesthetic Beauty Centre, we try to put safety first, making sure that the patients are looked after, and again, that process starts with the consultation. I believe every patient has to have one, if not two, consultations so that we can explain to them what are the pros, the cons of the treatment, what can go wrong, how we look after the patient after the procedure. And these need to be set before even the patient has decided whether they want to go ahead or not. Ultimately, the consultation goes into consenting. That means we explain to the patient, give them in writing. In our clinic, we give the consent forms to the patient a week or two before so that they can take it home, read it, understand it, and if they have still got any questions, they can come back to us. Once the procedure is performed, all our patients have 24 hour access to me and the nurse. That means if there is any issues, we can see them and then take them through the review process so that when everything is achieved, the patient can be ultimately discharged and hopefully a happy patient. Let me take you to the theatre and explain to you a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes.